boomerang is a fairly modern scratch technique and for me it marks the beginning of an era that I consider as new school techniques. It's quite tricky to master because it requires a different type of coordination to all of the techniques that came before it. But as always, I'm going to break it down for you into simple steps. Once again, I have a long scratch sample loaded up to my deck, but instead of queuing up the sound to the very beginning, like we've done with previous techniques, I find that the boomerang works best if you're queued up to around the middle of the sound. So just push your platter slightly forward past the tip of the sound, and if you need to, you can also check on the screen to see exactly where the sound is positioned on the playhead. Okay, so the boomerang is a symmetrical flare type pattern that produces six sounds or six notes. However, it begins and ends with the crossfader closed, which is where it differs to all other regular flare techniques. Here are the six steps. Step one, push the platter forward and open the crossfader. Step two, pull the platter back and close the crossfader. Step three, push the platter forward and this time stab the crossfader. This is now our halfway point, so we're going to do everything we've just done now in reverse. So step four, pull the platter back and open the crossfader. Step five, push the platter forward and close the crossfader. And finally, step six, pull the platter back and stab the crossfader. And this brings us back to the starting position. So those six steps again. Step one, push the platter forward and open the crossfader. Step two, pull the platter back and close the crossfader. Step three, push the platter forward and stab the crossfader. Step four, pull the platter back and open the crossfader. Step five, push the platter forward and close the crossfader. And finally, step six, pull the platter back and stab the crossfader. Put all of those six steps together and you have the boomerang. So the boomerang is technically another two click flare pattern as it produces six sounds for only four clicks of the crossfader just like the two click flare orbit does. But the way that the boomerang is executed gives it a different swing, a different groove and a distinctive sound. As a comparison, here's the regular two click flare orbit. And here's the boomerang. As you can see, the most noticeable difference is that the two-click flare orbit is built on just one long baby scratch. Whereas the boomerang is built on three smaller baby scratches. This is what gives the boomerang a sense of urgency and a more technical sound. So experiment with different beats and tempos to see what suits it best. I believe scratching is all about being musical and adding something complementary to a beat. And like I always say, practice all scratches slowly and get the technique as tight as possible before trying to increase the speed. Believe me, the boomerang took me a lot of practice to be able to do them fast. So be patient and enjoy the learning process. To end the tutorial, here's some freestyle boomerang scratches over a beat. <laughs> 